All right, guys, I can't be arsed getting my mic. I'm not in the mood, so the audio might be fucking shite in this video. And I couldn't be bored making a thumbnail, so I decided to steal a picture from the Scottish Cop Twitter account because that's how I roll. All right, and speaking of roll, let's hope Slamal rolls a double barrel shotgun in a game of Russian roulette and fucking shoots himself in the head because today he was absolutely pish. But before we got on to him, first half, man, it was it was poor. We were the better team. There's no doubt about that. But I mean, as a spectator, man, it was fucking awful. And unless you supported one of these teams, you would have probably changed the channel. Unless you're a sheep fan, you know what I mean, and you need you need Celtic to save your bacon by getting you into the uh, you know to win to get you into the league. I'm, unless you, I don't know, man. Why would you watch this? Absolutely dreadful. Um, second half game, we came out, we started all right, even though we went for like a, a rugby style kick off. <laughs> we tried to oh just kick the ball into the Celtics five meter yard, uh, five meter line. What the fuck was that all about? Not a clue. Not an absolute clue what happened there. And then uh, yeah, we took the lead. Uh, a bit of a scrappy goal, man, but we were on top. We deserved the lead. There's no doubt about that. Celtic were playing absolute pish. And what should you do, guys, when you're one 0 up against a Celtic in a cup final that's playing absolute pish? And, uh, you know, they're on for the treble treble. I know what you should do. Just give away a fucking penalty, man. Why not? You know what I mean? It makes sense to me. Like, um, the Celtic, um, they're shite. You know what I mean? They, they, they never win a game. They haven't won trophies in years. They need all the help they can get. So just give them a penalty, man. Go ahead, hand them it. And that's exactly what we did with Slamal. And the worst thing is, right, it's bad enough that he's a fucking mongoloid to give the penalty away. He dives the right way. It's not a great penalty for Edward. It's an easy save, man. The ball is right in front of him. And he doesn't even manage to redeem himself. You know what, mate? Go fucking kill yourself. And, and, and they're giving him a, a runner-up medal. Fucking don't give him a runner-up medal. Give him a one-way ticket back to Czech Republic. Because he's fucking shite, right? And that should be the last time he plays. I was going to say it should be the last time he's in a maroon jersey. But goalkeeper doesn't wear a maroon jersey. But you get my point, guys. He's pish. Don't get me wrong, Doyle's pish too, but fuck it. We don't need two pish keepers one all day. Um, Christoph Berra, our captain, I like the guy. I think he's a good centre-back, but today he was fucking pish. Cost us the second goal. Um, he initially contests the header with Edward, and that's fine. That's fine and dandy, even though it was on Suter's side. You know what? He, he's, he's contesting the header. I've got no problems with that, but as soon as he contests the header, he should be getting back into position, he should be back covering, and what's he doing, he, he just seems to drop into like a, a midfield position, uh, the ball's played from I believe, was it Lustig, it's played through to Edward, and he's on his own, he's on his fucking own, because Berra, the useless prick, is never to be seen, he's in the midfield, fucking marking Nabdi, marking a bloody ghost, marking fucking Ken O'Neill, or Billy O'Neill, that prick that died last month, do you know what I mean? That, that's who he must have been marking, because there was nobody there, man. Fucking empty space. What you doing, better? Absolute pish. And then they scored 2-1, and they, but they weren't even good, do you know what I mean? It's frustrating. Celtic could have turned up today, and especially under Rodgers, could have hammered us 5-0. But fact is, they were pants, right? That's probably the worst Celtic will play in a final, and we didn't beat them. And that that is just not good enough now. I, I get it, you know what I mean, Lafine, he's been unlucky this season, he's had a lot of injuries, I get that, right, but the fact remains is we were five points clear at the top, we ended up finishing way adrift of the, you know, the, the leaders in sixth, we didn't even finish with the sixth highest point total, man, I mean, Mullerwell got more points than us, we finished level on points with St. Johnston, our goal difference was shocking, you know what I mean, fucking minus 12 or some shit like that, and then we couldn't beat one of the worst Celtic performances you've ever seen, I mean, probably... Was this worse than the Celtic performance against Rangers? You know, it, it might have been. It might have bloody been. And then, um, ah, that's it, man. Celtic win. <laughs> With a, uh, Christoph Berra, he's a chance late on. 94th minute. I mean, it's not an easy chance. It's a, it's a head off here, but 18 yards out. But <laughs> he could have at least tried to direct it somewhere near goal, man. I don't know where he was aiming for. Um... Maybe he's trying to try and get it into one of the Hearts fans, man, and fucking Rose fucking said or something, trying to give him a souvenir because that's where the ball headed. 
And uh, that was it, man. Celtic lifted the trophy. There was a bit of a square up between, I believe it was Brown and Uchi at the end of the game. I wish Uchi would have knocked him out. Unfortunately, he didn't. And then Lee Griffiths came on and kind of sucks, man, because Lee Griffiths probably had a big fucking massive bet on Celtic and it would have been great for him to lose it and spiral back into a depression and <laughs> never to be seen again and for all the Celtic fans to make it as if the guys, you know what I mean, <laughs> the guy's had the hardest thing ever, man. He's not, he's not, I mean, he's not got cancer. He's not had someone in the family die. He's got an addiction, right? And he was brought on himself. An addiction for a dick. But unfortunately, he's probably won a lot of money today. So, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. And what it is, is pish. Cannot believe Slamal. I mean, if we had a decent keeper like Alan McGregor, big shagger in nets, we would have been fine. Even if we had the last bird, Alan, shag, uh, Alan McGregor shagged, we would have been alright, but we didn't. With the Czech Republican Bobby Slamal, and he is absolute pish. And that is it, man. I'm had enough. I was going to go and play Hearts Career Mode, but I'm fucking. Uh... I stayed up, man. Two hours sleep last night so I could change my shift and work so I could go in early and watch this crap. And what was the point, man? What was the absolute. What was the point? <sighs> right, man. Till next time. Peace.